think there are far more athletes who will find that they need to maintain some element of a asymmetrical program to stay symmetrical. So what this probably looks like initially, let's say you've got one small muscle group and then two large muscle groups that you're trying to work on and you're training them in a cyclical fashion along with asymmetrical program. Your periodization is basically going to look like, you know, specialization one, specialization two, symmetrical, repeat. And you might go through that process and that could be what it looks like. But you may get to a point where you realize that you've increased your work capacity on all these exercises and all these movements and body parts that require more work. And you start to shift into a phase that like almost all advanced level athletes get to, to meet these artificial guidelines for the sport of bodybuilding in their division and for their own genetics, where not everything grows at the same rate and their structure doesn't necessarily make them look like the perfect dog and pony show that you're supposed to in bodybuilding, that you have to have an unbalanced program. But that's balanced for you.